there's a lot more pride of being a Filipino when you see the Philippine flag being raised and the national anthem being raised in an international competition. That was really the impetus behind it. And we said, let's focus now on sports because we think that that has a strong impact on nationhood and nation building and building the national pride. Noong ano kasi, elementary ako sa school namin sa probinsya, yung coach namin, ako yung nakitaan niya ng potential. I was in the fifth grade that time, so I wanted to make my parents proud. My father told me, bakit di mo seryosohin, pahalagahan. We decided to focus on Patafa because we felt that it had the most potential for medals. People always remember the Lydia de Vegas of the world and the Isidro del Prado and Elma Muros, right? But we haven't had marquee names that people remember since then. And so we thought that if we can actually bring them back to that level of competitiveness and performance. Meron kang ups and downs. Magko-concentrate ako sa school, bumabagsak naman yung performance ko sa sports. Hindi naman po tayo lahat gusto natin na may hurdle tayo sa buhay. So minsan, kahit sobrang mentally prepared tayo, yung pala yung katawan natin hindi na. I faced a lot of injuries. Yun yung mapa-question ka na, why would I still continue? Sports is not easy. They have to train for it, they have to have the discipline, they have to have the mental fortitude for it. That's what makes athletes win. Dati wala kami mga support. Kumbaga, kung mayroon kang pangarap, yung lahat ng mga obstacles na yon, kailangan mo talagang labanan. Yung teammates ko, yung family and friends na when you have those setbacks, yung strength na binibigay ng other people na nagsisupport sa'yo, yun yung nakaka-push na parang we believe in you. And when they do believe in you, parang ikaw din na parang I believe I can. You need marquee experts in, on, on every level, from nutrition to physical therapy to sports psychology to facilities. Pag nanalo ka kasi, hindi lang pangalan ko yung dala ko. Parang dala ko yung Philippines. I need to win for myself and for my country. One of the biggest things that we were surprised to find out is that we actually didn't have an internationally certified track and field stadium. And I guess it was meant to be. We were actually building a track as part of our Vermosa sports facility. And that's when we said, well, if we're gonna build it anyway, why don't we go through the process of building it according to IAAF standards? Our vision uh, for uh, Vermosa is really uh, to give our national athletes, provide them the same facilities as they have abroad. Sobrang saya namin dahil makapag-training yung buong team at maganda yung facilities. Sa abroad ko nakikita yung nine lanes competition, nine lanes track over. When I got here, first got here na pagpunta ko, sobrang feel ko agad yung track. Hawakan mo palang iba ng feeling. And it, it gives them an insurmountable amount of, of confidence that they know that they have support. Happy to know na may ganong vision yung Ayala na maraming pangarap na matutupad. Many athletes will motivate to train. Nagpapasalamat kami sa ano talaga sa Ayala na nabigyan kami ng pagkakataon makapag-training dito at yung suporta na binibigay nila sa amin. I cannot thank them enough. But really deep down in my heart, I really want to thank you for the support na ibibigay and binibigay right now. We hope that by doing that, we will attract more and more young athletes with these big dreams. That they dream to represent the country, that they dream to make us proud, and that they dream to really make a name for themselves in the international stage.